Azure policies are all about compliance, compliance with your organization. And what it does is it either audits or disables the ability to create any resources inside Azure unless they comply with your policies. So I'm going to go to the top. I can either type Azure policy or just policy. And once you go there once, you'll see it in your list of recently accessed resources. By default, you can see there's been some already pre-created policies. I didn't create these, but you can see that I'm non-compliant in eight of them, and I'm not compliant in any of them. So let's see what happened. If I go over to compliance, we can see my subscription. So the compliances are all tied to your Azure subscription. So if I click on my Azure subscription, we can see where the problem areas are. To start with, we can see that the enable threat detection capabilities are non-compliant. So if I click on that, it shows me how they are not compliant, and it gives me guidance on how to fix the problem. And if there's any area I don't understand, it has links to tell me more about it. I'm going to go back to policy. And once you've remediated any of those issues, then that will show up here under remediation. Now, I have yet to do that, so you don't see it yet. But if you do, you'll see it there. You may also see some events that show up here. I don't have any yet since I haven't done anything. So let's go to the authoring assignments. So we see there's assignments and initiative assignments. An assignment is a single policy definition. However, an initiative assignment is a group of policies all gathered into one location, sort of like a security group has a lot of members in it. An initiative can have a lot of policies in it. I'm going to go to where it shows definitions. Now, these are the definitions that were automatically created by Azure just by creating the Azure account. And you can see there are a lot of them. And they all apply to various different areas. And you can decide whether or not to assign them to your group. Now, some of them already have been assigned, but not all of them. And if you have any exemptions, that basically says this particular server or this particular resource is going to be exempt from a definition without having to get rid of the policy at all. I'm going to click on policy definition and create a new one. And I'll call this one custom. And I'm going to assign it to a specific location. And I need to choose my subscription. And click select. And I've typed in a description, my custom policy. Under category, I can choose creating a new one, or I can use an existing one if I like. And if I choose use existing, it's going to show me all the different pre-created ones. So what that does is it helps me by adding in one that may have already been created that I just want to alter a little bit. Instead, I'm just going to choose Create New. Now, here is the JSON rule that goes along with this. And basically, this is going to show just basic information. By default, you see this one is set to audit. So it's not going to actually disable anything if I choose to create this custom rule. And then we have the list of allowed locations for resources, allowed locations, etc. Now that we know what one looks like, I'm going to go back to Use Existing. And then I'm going to choose a specific one just to get us started. And I'll choose tags. A tag is something that's allowed to be added to any resource when you create it. A tag helps in organizing various different resources so they can be billed to the correct department. Once I've customized the tag the way I want it, I'll go ahead and click Save. And now we say it's creating the policy definition and it has succeeded. And I've successfully tied it into my subscription. After going back to the home page for policy definitions, you can see my custom policy is here. I can delete it. I can edit it. I can assign it to a different Azure subscription, and I can make changes to the definition itself. It may take a little time to learn how to edit the policy definition properties, but adding policies can add compliance to your organization to keep resources from being created in a non-compliant manner.